Hey everyone, this is Mr. Bishop, and today I wanted to show you how to use Soundtrap, which is an audio editor and uh, recorder, um, to podcast. And so this is going to be a basic lesson today. Uh, I'll probably probably make another video that's a little bit more advanced, um, but for now let's just start basic. So I'm going to assume that you have a Soundtrap account, and once you have that, you're going to enter the studio. Once you click on that button, it's going to take you to a page where you can either create music. Um, like a song of some sort, or a podcast. It's really simple and it's a nice layout. That's what I like about this. So I'm gonna click on podcast. So you'll see over here um, is my track panel, and that's where I can add as many um, audio tracks as I want to. Keep in mind, um, this could be tracks for um, your vocals, for whatever it is, uh, whatever you're saying in your podcast, but also it can be tracks for audio, like sound effects or other music that you might want to put in. So um, let me show you this area too is a spot where you can either browse loops that you'll insert into your podcast. You can add a new track, um, which is just like clicking this button here. You can import a file, uh, like an audio file that you might have already recorded. Um, and then the transcribe uh, voice tracks, I haven't really gotten into that much. You can check that out on your own. Uh, inviting a friend is there for collaboration so that you can collaborate with other people. So um, on this side over here, this is also a quick way to get to the music uh, or sounds or um, there's different sound effects, different audio. If you take off this sounds here, it's going to show you all of the music. So if I click on this, for example, That's something that I can then put in uh, just as easy as this. I just drag it in there, and now I have that. But let's say um, I don't want this. Uh, I can just click here, and then I can go to delete track. And really what I'm wanting is, let's say, uh, sound effects. So I'm going to click on sounds, and then I can either scroll through here and figure out whatever it is that I want. Oh, that is truly terrifying. Um, or, <laughs> or I don't know why you would ever need that. Well, I guess if you're making a horror podcast. Um, so, or you can just type it in yourself, like bell, and then all of a sudden you have all your bell sounds. So if I, for whatever reason, I'm dragging in a doorbell sound, I can drag that in right here. And it says, you're adding a loop from freesound.org. These loops will not automatically adjust their scale and tempo to match your project. Um, but you can if you want them to. This is something that you don't really have to worry about. It's just essentially saying that um, if you have music that you're doing with it, it's not going to adjust to fit that music automatically. So I'm going to drag that in, and I have the sound there. And from this point, I can turn the volume up. I can turn it down. It depends on how loud your voice is and how loud you want it. If I want to solo this track, if let's say that I have other um, audio right here, um, then I just have to click on this uh, these headphones here, and then any other things that I put on here that I have already, it will mute those and just play this. I can also mute this track uh, as well if I, if I wanna mute that. So um, now let me show you really quickly how I add in an audio track for my vocals. So I'm going to click here and go to voice and microphones. You'll notice one of the first things as you load this is uh, this effects panel here. So if I click on that, that's going to automatically start me off in podcast, which I would say is the best effect to go with if you're doing podcasting. But there's a ton of other ones as well that you can click on and, and try out, particularly if you're um, if you're doing music. But I'm going to keep it on podcast for right now because that's it has the best sound to go along with this. I wouldn't worry about the reverb or the pan so much. Um, the volume is something you can adjust here. Basically, reverb makes it more echoic or less echoic. Uh, pan will tilt it um, the, the sound to either the left side or the right side or the center. I'm going to keep that where it is because it's already in the center. And then when I'm ready to start, I'm going to um, start recording here. Um, you can also, if you click on this gear, you can give yourself a count in so it doesn't automatically start recording. Um, one bar, two bars. I usually do one bar just to give myself enough time. I'm also going to use this uh, button right here, which brings it back to the beginning for me so that I'm ready to start.
So I have no idea why I would ever have um, have a, a doorbell <laughs> sound effect for a podcast, but it's on there. So let's go ahead and start recording. I'm going to click this button right here, which is going to enable my track so that I can record on it. If you have two enabled at the same time, you're going to record over both tracks. So make sure to uh, enable or disable um, your, your other tracks when you're recording. So here we go. I'm going to record. It's going to give me that count in. Hello and welcome to Mr. Bishop's Random Podcast. You don't want to listen to this. Okay, so there's my podcast. And if I go back to the beginning, you can hear it. Hello. Oh, okay. So when you hear that, you'll probably notice that my um, it sounds a little echoey in here. And that's honestly something that you need to control for before you start podcasting. Um, I'm in a, a pretty big room right now, and I, I haven't blocked off my sound at all. Um, usually I'd record in a smaller room. You can even record in a closet. If you're in a big room like mine right now, you can either uh, even take a big blanket and just cover yourself with it. And that will muffle the sound. And, um, that makes it so the audio will bounce around a little bit less. But anyways, you can see from here, if you need to do any adjusting, um, you can bring this, uh, up or down. Um, I'm done recording on this track, but actually, uh, let's say that I want to record more. I can either keep this, um, enabled and then you know hit the record button that will start recording again from here or i can add a new track just go to voice and microphones it's on podcast and there we go so then i can start from here it's really up to you and it's just personal preference now let's say uh just for um just to show you how this works let's say you make mistakes let me record here again hello and welcome to mr bishop's random podcast you don't want to listen to this. So one of the first things that we're going to snock about, okay, so whoops. Okay, so you can see that right around here probably. Snock about. Okay. <laughs> snock about. I my brain malfunctioned apparently. So I I messed up there. So I can either re-record and I can press delete or backspace to get rid of this, or I can go to edit and split region. And then that basically creates um, two separate uh, sections here. Then I can delete this and I can go back and you'll see that it, it will um, eliminate that part where I messed up. So one of the first things that we're gonna... So, and you see that's even a little bit, um, there's a little bit of the sn in there. So what I can do now is I can actually zoom in even more on this and let's find out exactly where I say that. So we're gonna... So you can see this is right in the area here where I start to make this sound. So I can even take this backwards and stop it right there. And now you can hear the adjusted um, track. We're gonna... And that's pro I would probably even take a little bit more off. We're gonna... But honestly, it's going to sound weird if you just start recording after that. Um, so I would, in this case, just delete it. But I just wanted to show you how that worked. So the other thing um, that I wanted to show you really quick uh, is just adding in music, which I kind of showed you before. Um, but I just want to show you how the genres work here. So there's a, a bunch of different, um, genres, hip hop, um, synth, rock, pop. It just sort of depends on what your podcast is about. So if you go to pop, for example, um, and you can do multiple genres. So if I want like pop and I want guitar, it's going to show me, um, some of, some of the guitar, uh, sounds. So let's click on one. Okay, so that's a little bit uh, depressing, so I'm not going to go with that one. Okay, these are all terribly depressing, so let's move forward a little bit. That's weird. Oh, that's melancholy. My goodness. Okay, sure, that'll work. So I'm going to put that in right down here. Just drag it in. Um, I don't want it to be too loud. That's the thing with podcasting. You don't want the music or the sound effects to drown out your own voice. So um, you're going to want to make that a little bit, um, a little bit quieter than the, than the vocal track. So let's listen to this. You don't want to listen to this. So one of the 
first things. So now hold on really quick. Um, so you'll probably notice here how really echoey that sound. Right, so that's because it was recording the other track as we were listening to it. So I'm just going to drag that over, Podcast. and that'll take that off. Don't want to listen to this. So one of the first things that we're going to. So there, that's kind of how that works. Now keep in mind, I'm totally winging this video. I really didn't plan any of this uh, at all. <laughs> so um, you know. The, the best thing that you can do after you watch this is really to just go in the program and just experiment with it. Um, there's a lot, as I said before, that I, I haven't showed you because I'm just keeping it simple at this time. But this is, that's kind of a general overlook at how you record a podcast. Once you're done um, with your podcast, oh, and make sure that you, you do save. Um, so uh, my podcast, number one save that. Um, it, it's really important that you save fairly often. Um, go to file and export. I always export it to an mp3 file. Um, please save the project first. I did save the project. How dare you accuse me of not saving the project? Oh, maybe it's because I named it, but I didn't save it. Okay, so export. Um, oh, yeah, I should show you this too. So sometimes it's going to show you this after you've saved it. Um, it's going to say mixing. When it says mixing, it's not going to allow you to download the track yet. So you have to wait until that's done. So I'll show you. If I go to export to MP3 file, it's saying it's being mixed. But basically, once it's done mixing, um, it will allow you to download the file and it'll download it locally on your computer. And then you'll have it and you'll be able to upload it uh, wherever you want to. So um, I hope this was helpful. Um, you know, there's other things that I want to talk to you about. Like, you know, you can do your own. Oh, see, there you go. Mix is ready for download. You can do your own music. You can record your own songs in there if you're wanting to do, you know, your own instrumentation. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll do another video soon. So you go to export to MP3 file. Just show you this really quick. And there you go. It's on your computer. All right, well, I hope this is helpful, and uh, we'll have another video out soon, and happy podcasting.